Uh, there are uh, two new stories. Firstly, meeting in Addis Ababa about the conflict in Amhara region. With a meeting with residents of Addis Ababa. Does it make sense? Why was the need for such a meeting? Uh, can we say that Amhara people of Addis Ababa have influence in the Amhara region? Secondly, Sudan, we are six Ethiopian fighters. Fighters, I'm saying, have been detained. Uh, an official confirmation. Which side were they fighting on? Uh, because both sides have been accusing each other of uh, deploying Ethiopian uh, fighters. Let's start from Addis Ababa, Ethiopian capital. Ethiopian government is uh, trying to find uh, different ways and means to weaken Fano to create splits within Fano to ensure that people don't support Fano. It is offering uh, rewards. It is resorting to threats to, I told you in last night's live chat that military killed dozens of civilians in the last 10 days in three separate incidents. All Separate, uh, three separate attacks were revenge attacks by Ethiopian military on people who were suspected of having links with Fano fighters. General Ababa Tadasse held a meeting in Addis Ababa reportedly around 24 hours ago. He met with the residents of Addis Ababa. I think Adonish Ababa was there too. The mayor of Addis Ababa, religious leaders were invited to. Addis Ababa residents were invited, mainly Amhara residents were invited. Agenda, agenda was obviously the conflict in the Amhara region. Those Amhara people especially who have connections, th those uh, Amhara people of Addis Ababa who have connections, who have relatives, who have influence in Amhara region, investors too, businessmen too, they were specifically invited for this meeting. Discussion were held how to end the conflict in uh, the Amhara region. Uh, reportedly, seven point, uh, points were raised by the participants. Government has not shared details. Probably in coming videos, what happened, what was discussed. Basically, government wants to cut off the link between Fano and people. Government knows that Fano cannot survive without people's support, logistical support, intelligence support, financial support, moral support. Uh, that is why businessmen are now being given offers, they are being threatened that they should stop supporting Fano, that uh, they should talk to Fano and uh, those elements in Fano which are flexible they should be contacted so that uh, talks could start with those flexible elements. So, Amhara businessmen have been tasked with this assignment, you can say. It was a public discussion. Uh, so, what has been agreed should have been made public, but no official statement. But it has been confirmed. Uh, I think the humility on its page also confirmed this meeting. So, meeting has been confirmed. But what did the participants say? That's not clear. By the way, why is the government uh, involving people of Addis Ababa? I mean, a few months ago, people of Addis Ababa were being targeted. They were suspected of supporting Fano. Or random checkings were being conducted. Uh, now, government wants the same people in Addis Ababa to play a role to resolve the conflict in the Amhari. I am not against. They are playing a positive role. Yes, uh, if anyone can play a positive role, yes. 
uh, it should happen uh, talks should start that is the way forward but question is is a government reliable can government be trusted because the military in the amhara region is crossing serious red lines how can amhara influential people of addis ababa talk to amhara people in the amhara region when military is ruthlessly killing civilians who are just suspected of uh, supporting fano if this is the strategy adopted by military in amhara region amhara investors amhara businessmen they won't be able to convince people the people should stop supporting fano so military i think will have to review its strategy of taking action on civilians it is leading to increase in support for fano fighters secondly about sudan sudan civil war broke out last year rapid support forces of hamdan dagalo are fighting abdul fatal burhan's sudanese military the still made in sudan uh, large parts of sudan under military control remaining area under rs control both are in control of large parts sudan is partially split you can say uh, under two administrations there are several players in sudan al burhan's military uh, rsf tribal chiefs foreigners uh, so it would be difficult uh, for sudan to come under one administration now both parties sudanese warring parties military and rsf have been accusing ethiopians of uh, fighting in the war if you remember a few days a few weeks ago in april i think in april rsf issued a statement a uh, formal statement and rsf said that uh tigray people mission fund uh, members were fighting in support of military against rsf members to which uh, tplf responded and uh, denied any uh, involvement in the civil war tplf said that uh, rsf only wanted to externalize the issue to gain international support otherwise tplf members were not involved in the war Before that, we heard from Yasser Alata, Sudan's military general, who said that Ethiopian mercenaries had been uh, deployed by RSF against military. So both parties have been accusing each other. Now, some Ethiopians have been detained, arrested by military, and military claims they were fighting uh, in support of rapid support forces against the Sudan military. Six Ethiopian women. have been arrested snipers trained militarily and the military of al burhan claims that these uh, women were operating as rsf members they are originally from ethiopia they were arrested uh, in gidarf gidarf is sudanese province state which shares border with ethiopia for around a year reportedly according to military these ethiopian women have been fighting in support of rapid support forces let's see what happens will sudan uh hand over the ethiopian women to ethiopia how long have they been living in sudan what they sent from ethiopia where were they trained these are questions i think that Ethiopian authorities should be given access to these women, or international organizations should be given access, so that people uh, would be in a position to know what actually happened. Are they refugees? Are they uh, residents of Ethiopia who were trained in Ethiopia and then lost? It's not clear. military only said that six ethiopian women sniper arrested who were fighting uh, on rsf side against the sudanese military picture has also been released of these six ethiopian women you can see the picture in a thumbnail thank you for watching